Welcome to the Maintenance Community Member Spotlight Series. Every episode, we will connect with our very own community members and get a glimpse into their maintenance journey. I'm Joanne, one of the Maintenance Community Select admins, and I'm very excited to chat with today's Member Spotlight guest, Joe Anderson. Could you just start us off by sharing a little bit more about yourself and your background? Currently, I'm the Chief Operating Officer and Partner at Reliability X. What we do is help plants achieve design capacity and reduce overall costs. So that's kind of our goal. A lot of training on the maintenance and operations side. We do assessments, we do coaching, we do implementation services, just to name a few. I have a bachelor's degree in business administration, and I've been in the industry now well over 25 years between food and pharma manufacturing. I also have pretty much every certification <laughs> in the industry, but you know, that's a little bit about me, I guess. It sounds like you have a ton of experience. My next question for you then is what keeps you energized in your profession for these last 25 years? Well, I kind of, kind of dug a niche for myself as kind of what's known as a plant turnaround guy, but the center of excellence that I did it was through the maintenance department. Being a maintenance manager, for most of my career, learning how to turn around plants, eliminate, you know, any losses when it comes to your OE calculation, you break down speed losses, minor stops, any quality issues, process failures, just kind of over the years through different companies, continuing to do that and seeing those results, I guess results are what keep me energized, right? And seeing other people be successful and showing them the way on how you can be successful doing the same thing which is what we currently do now as we went out in, into the consulting field, seeing results at these locations and people getting excited and engaged and understanding how to run the business correctly. To me, there's no greater feeling. I love that. I think the one thing I love about the maintenance community in general is that everyone loves to give back and they want to make a difference. And that seems to be the normal trajectory of a person in maintenance. So I absolutely love that response. And so that kind of leads me to the maintenance community. You know, how did you first hear about us? You know, how has it helped you in your journey in maintenance and reliability? When Ryan decided to start it, he kind of reached out to us to kind of help us and kind of partner with you guys. And so we've been alongside of you this whole time and, you know, being able to respond to questions, give feedback and then learn from others. The thing that keeps me interested in all this is the fact of hearing other people's stories because there's always something that you can learn from it. And so that's always been a plus for me. And then seeing other people's experiences and then maybe adopting some of those practices in your own life, uh, it always helps. And so it's, it's definitely appreciated. And to see the growth of the community has just been fantastic. You guys have been doing a great job. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And, you know, just like what you said about learning about each other's experiences and journeys, and this is exactly what this podcast is for, is to do just that. So I guess for the maintenance community itself, what's the best piece of advice you've ever received that you would like to pass on? To be honest, it's a little lengthy, but once you understand it, the work and the level that it takes to get to where you need to be. But the way that I've always been taught is that there's basically four levels of enlightenment when it comes to any profession, regardless of the profession. But there's the level of knowledge, there's the level of wisdom, the level of understanding, and then the level of insight. And so the goal is to strive to get to the level of what's called insight, which insight you know, it builds self-confidence and competence, which is needed, especially when you're a change agent within an organization. But as you experience wins and, and get results, no matter the naysayers that say that it can't be done, you know that it can because you've lived it over and over again. But to kind of explain those levels, so knowledge is a combination of learning and experience. So for example, uh, going to training or listening to a webinar, and then going out and trying to apply those principles to learn from them, that gives you knowledge, right? And so that's kind of level one, where wisdom is the quality of having good judgment based on the knowledge that you've attained. So it's making good decisions based on that knowledge that continues to help you propel you in your knowledge and your competency, right? And then there's the level of understanding, and that's the realization of the action that you take upon the wisdom and the knowledge, right? So knowledge you gain through training, continual learning, reading books, 
uh, maybe going to school, those types of things. And then applying all that you've learned to your job gives you experience, right? And then making the sound decisions based on that competency that you've developed and then putting action behind it all, actually executing to the best of your ability. That That's the level of understanding. And then the level of insight is converting all these actions into a, a lifestyle, a new lifestyle with better habits and basically mastering the profession. And so I've always looked at things that way. And, you know, I've always been given that advice. My mentors have given me that advice. The goal is to strive to achieve insight. And so I'm continuously learning, trying to learn. The great thing about this profession and maintenance is the more you dig into things, the more you realize you don't know. And so there, there's a lot of information and it gives you a lot of a, a chance to try new things, adopt new things, to develop better habits. And so I've kind of just stuck with that and I share that with others. Um, in hopes that, you know, it helps them along the way. I love that. Definitely agree with you there where there is no cookie cutter approach to all of your problems in life. And as you dig into the maintenance and reliability world, there's just so much to unravel. I'm also kind of like dipping my toes into that. So I completely (laughs) agree with you there. But yeah, I want to thank you again for all of the wonderful advice and thorough explanation of enlightenment. I think that's such a helpful thing to understand wholly as like a group and a community. And I also do want to thank all of our listeners today for taking the time to get to know Joe on today's episode of Community Member Spotlight. Uh, You can find both of us in the Slack group. And if you'd like to be in the spotlight yourself, simply become an active member over in the maintenance community Slack and you can learn more at upkeep.org. Thank you again, Joe. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it.